liner Queen Mary arrives at New York Harbor after a stormy crossing. At quarantine, a tug pulls alongside to take aboard Prime Minister Winston Churchill, making his first visit to the United States in six years. He debarks at the Army base in Brooklyn and after a brief press conference goes to Floyd Bennett Field to board the presidential plane Independence for the trip to Washington, where he will hold a series of conferences with President Truman and top defense officials. He receives full military honors as he steps from the plane to receive a cordial welcome at the Capitol from President Truman. As the two heads of state meet at the foot of the ramp, it is literally hands across the sea. After greetings by other dignitaries, Mr. Churchill voices a hope for greater unity. I thank you very much indeed for your welcome. We, we, we have only to go along together, each doing loyally its best, understanding the other's point of view and the many differences of interest between our countries, and we shall find ourselves safe at the end of the road and having through your vast strength brought peace and hope and salvation on earth to struggling mankind. Peace on earth is what we're both striving for. Thank you, sir. The agenda of talks between the two leaders includes a wide variety of world subjects and the discussions begin with the arrival of the Prime Minister aboard the presidential yacht Williamsburg. Both Mr. Churchill and the President are assisted by their top advisors during the weekend cruise. As Foreign Minister Anthony Eden and Dean Acheson join the conferences together with top-ranking military and government officials of both countries. The Williamsburg Honor Guest Book is examined by the two men who must resolve the momentous problems facing the free world. <laughs> 